The 64th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1915, to March 4, 1917, during the third and fourth years of Woodrow Wilson's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 13th Census of the United States in 1910. Both chambers had a Democratic majority. Major events June 9, 1915, Prelude to World War I, U.S. Secretary of State William Jennings Bryan resigned over a disagreement regarding the nation's handling of the RMS Lusitania sinking. July 24, 1915, the steamer SS Eastland capsized in central Chicago, with the loss of 844 lives. July 28, 1915, the United States occupation of Haiti began. August 5 to August 23, 1915, Hurricane 2 of the 1915 Atlantic hurricane season over Galveston and New Orleans left 275 dead. March 8 to March 9, 1916, Mexican Revolution, Pancho Villa led about 500 Mexican raiders in an attack against Columbus, New Mexico, killing 12 U.S. soldiers. A garrison of the U.S. 13th Cavalry Regiment fights back and drives them away. March 15, 1916, President Woodrow Wilson sent 12,000 United States troops over the U.S.-Mexico border to pursue Pancho Villa. May 5, 1916, United States Marines invaded the Dominican Republic. July 30, 1916, German agents caused the Black Tom explosion in Jersey City, New Jersey, an act of sabotage destroying an ammunition depot and killing at least seven people. November 7, 1916, U.S. presidential election, 1916, Democratic President Woodrow Wilson narrowly defeated Republican Charles E. Hughes. January 11, 1917, prelude to World War I, German saboteurs set off the Kingsland explosion at Kingsland, N.J. now Lyndhurst, N.J., one of the events leading to U.S. involvement in World War I. February 3, 1917, prelude to World War I, the United States severs diplomatic relations with Germany. <laughs> Major legislation May 15, 1916, Kern Amendment May 29, 1916, Fraudulent Advertising Act of 1916 May 31, 1916, Tillman Act June 3, 1916, National Defense Act of 1916 June 9, 1916, Chamberlain Ferris Act July 11, 1916, Federal Aid Road Act of 1916 Bankhead Shackleford Act, also known as Federal Good Roads Act July 11, 1916, Terminal Inspection Act of 1916 July 17, 1916, Federal Farm Loan Act Hollis Lever Act July 27, 1916, River and Harbors Act of 1916 July 28, 1916, Space Basis Act July 28, 1916, Railway Mail Service Pay Act August 9, 1916, Uniform Bill of Lading Act of 1916 August 11, 1916, Irrigation District Act of 1916 Smith Act August 11, 1916, Wildlife Game Refuges Act of 1916 August 11, 1916, Grain Standards Act of 1916 August 11, 1916, Cotton Futures Act of 1916 August 11, 1916, Brush Disposal Act of 1916 August 11, 1916, Warehouse Act of 1916 August 25, 1916, National Park Service Act, Kent Smoot Act. August 29, 1916, Second Uniform Bill of Lading Act of 1916. August 29, 1916, Jones Act, Philippines. August 29, 1916, Federal Possession and Control Act of 1916. August 29, 1916, Army Appropriations Act of 1916. August 29, 1916, Naval Act of 1916 
August 29, 1916, Naval Reserve Force Act August 31, 1916, Federal Standard Container Act August 31, 1916, Standard Fruits and Vegetable Baskets and Containers Act of 1916 September 1, 1916, Keating-Owen Act September 3, 1916, Adamson Act September 7, 1916, Merchant Marine Act of 1916 Alexander Act September 7, 1916, Workingmen's Compensation Act Kern McGillicuddy Act September 8, 1916, Anti-Dumping Act of 1916 September 8, 1916, Emergency Revenue Act of 1916 October 20, 1916, Special Air Preparedness Act December 29, 1916, Stock Raising Homestead Act February 5, 1917, Immigration Act of 1917 February 22, 1917, Federal Interpleader Act of 1917 February 23, 1917, Smith-Hughes Act February 26, 1917, Mount McKinley National Park Act of 1917 March 1, 1917, Flood Control Act of 1917 Ransdell Humphreys Act March 2, 1917, jones shafroth Act March 3, 1917, Reed Amendment March 3, 1917, Shepherd Bone Dry Act March 3, 1917, Special Preparedness Fund Act of 1917 March 4, 1917, Timber Export Act Treaties January 17, 1917, Treaty of the Danish West Indies signed by President Wilson, ceding the Danish West Indies to the United States after their purchase from Denmark, and renaming them the U.S. Virgin Islands. Party summary Senate Topic House of Representatives Democratic D 230 Majority Republican R 196 Progressive Prague 6 Prohibition Pro 1 Socialist S 1 Independent I, 1 TOTAL members, 435 Leadership Senate President, Thomas R. Marshall Presidents pro tempore, James P. Clark and Willard Salisbury, Jr. Majority Whip, J. Hamilton Lewis, D. Minority Whip, Charles Curtis, R. Republican Conference Chairman, Jacob Harold Gollinger Democratic Caucus Chair, John W. Kern Republican Conference Secretary, James Walcott Wadsworth, Jr. Democratic Caucus Secretary, Willard Salisbury, Jr. Until December 14, 1916 Key Pittman, Acting House of Representatives Speaker, Champ Clark D. Majority Democratic leadership Majority Leader, Claude Kitchen Majority Whip, Vacant Democratic Caucus Chairman, Edward W. Saunders Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, Frank Ellsworth Doremus Minority Republican leadership Minority Leader, James R. Mann Minority Whip, Charles M. Hamilton Republican Conference Chair, William S. Green Members Skip to House of Representatives, below. 
Senate At this time, most sitting senators had been elected by the state legislatures, with one third beginning new six year terms with each Congress. Due to the 17th Amendment, the incoming class of senators from the 1914 election were all elected directly by the residents of their state. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re election in 1916, Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re election in 1918, and Class III meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re election in 1920. House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. <laughs> Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Replacements, 3 Democratic, 1 seat net loss Republican, 1 seat net gain Deaths, 3 Resignations, 0 Vacancy, 0 Total seats with changes, 4 House of Representatives Replacements, 9 Democratic, 2-seat loss Republican, 3-seat gain Progressive, 1-seat loss Deaths, 8 Resignations, 12 Contested elections, 4 Total seats with changes, 15 Committees <laughs> 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 Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official Congressional Directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link five links in the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, select and special and joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official Congressional Directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. Senate House of Representatives Joint Committees Conditions of Indian Tribes Special Fiscal Relations between the District of Columbia and the United States Disposition of useless Executive Papers Interstate Commerce Interstate and Foreign Commerce Rural Credits Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic Employees Architect of the Capitol, Elliot Woods, Librarian of Congress, Herbert Putnam, Public Printer of the United States, Cornelius Ford. Topic Senate Chaplain, F. J. Prettyman, Methodist. Secretary, James M. Baker. Sergeant at Arms, Charles P. Higgins. Topic: <laughs> House of Representatives. Chaplain, Henry N. Coden. Clerk, South Trimble. Clerk at the Speaker's Table, Bennett C. Clark. Doorkeeper, Joseph J. Sinnott. Reading Clerks, Patrick Joseph Haltigan D and N. A. R. Postmaster, William M. Dunbar Sergeant at Arms, Robert B. Gordon See also 
United States elections, 1914 elections leading to this Congress United States Senate elections, 1914 United States House of Representatives elections, 1914 United States elections, 1916 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States presidential election, 1916 United States Senate elections, 1916 United States House of Representatives elections, 1916